hey guys what's up welcome back to another video today i'm gonna be showing you guys my daughter's nursery tour i'm so excited to finally show you guys the tour i was supposed to film this a couple weeks ago but a baby girl decided to come unexpectedly three weeks early which i'm very happy because now i have a little bit more time with her for my maternity leave and i feel so much better not being pregnant but that's going to be a whole other separate video but today i want to show you guys her little nursery tour i'm obsessed with this room it's my new favorite room of the house i love being here with her but if you guys are new here my name is ashley i'm a licensed hairstylist i do work at a salon here in orlando florida and i do content creation on the side so if you like lifestyle beauty hair related content don't forget to subscribe also don't forget to follow me on instagram ashley to see a little bit more behind the scenes and I just became a new mom, so I will be having a little bit of mom content here and there. But it's still going to be focused on lifestyle, beauty, hair related, and some mom stuff. So if you want to join the fam, subscribe. And yeah, we're going to start this nursery tour. So this is what the overall room looks like when you open up the door. I'm obsessed with this. We'll get to that in a second. But this is kind of like an overview of everything literally love this room so much <laughs> and then over here we have her closet and then all of her books she has way more books <laughs> in her closet so this is an overview literally obsessed okay so we're gonna start right over here um we also have her hamper here which this hamper i got from target it was only 13 dollars I really wanted a more boho looking hamper, but I could not find it from Marshalls or TJ Maxx. So I ended up getting this one, which I really like. And it's very sturdy. Obviously there's already some stuff in here I need to wash, but we do laundry like every two days now. We could push it more, but she likes her little Velcro swaddles at nighttime. So those we go through pretty quickly. Okay, so right over here, we have our beautiful dresser. We have the mirror. So this dresser Ryan got from Facebook Market. It is the Ikea Hems dresser, I believe. And then he cleaned it up. He also replaced the knobs with these wooden knobs that I got from Amazon. You can just search up like wooden knobs from Amazon and you can find these. They're super cheap. And then here I have her little light, which I have it hooked up with the Alexa. But right now my Alexa is not working, so I need to fix her today. So I can just tell Alexa to turn on and off the light. I can also change the light, different colors, dim it. Really, really love the smart bulb. I recommend getting a smart bulb in your house. It's, especially if you have Alexa, it's so easy and just very convenient. Anyways, so this is the kangaroo, kikaroo, I cannot pronounce it right. I think it's kangaroo changing mat table thing. I love this. It is expensive, but it's so worth it. I ended up putting it on my registry last minute just to see if, I don't know, somebody would get it for me and one of my friend actually did and I love it so much. So thank you to her. I usually will take one of these changing pad things for babies. They almost look like for dogs, like little wee wee pads. And I will put it here because this does get a little bit cold sometimes and newborns are very sensitive to temperature. So I will put this on here in the middle of the night. Usually I use this in the middle of the night because downstairs we have another bassinet, which I'll show you guys in another video. But anyways, I'll put her here, change her, and if she spits up, it's just very easy to throw away and clean up. But anyways, I've been really loving this changing mat. This mirror is from Marshall. It's just a basic round mirror. Got it from Target. No, got it from Marshall's. It was like 50 bucks, I believe. And then, like I said, that's my Alexa, the lamp. And then this is for her late night changing. It's a little butt spatula where I put her aqua, aqua for healing ointment. This is kind of like an all-in-one product. You can use this for a lot of different things. But I mainly use it for the diaper rash. She's starting to peel a little bit on her skin, so I'll just apply a little bit on her skin just to help with the hydration. But another tip is if you put this on their butt after you change them, if they poop, it literally makes the poop not stick on their skin. So it makes cleaning a lot easier. So I have that here. I also have her little lotion here that we apply. I don't use this often because she's about to be two weeks, so I think she's just a little too young to use this every single day. But I've only used it twice after her two little sponge baths she's had and then this is her little welcome sign that i did for her i want to place that somewhere not leave it there so that's her little changing area thing and then right over here is our wipe warmer i'm not gonna lie i was a little hesitant on this before i didn't even put this on my registry my mother-in-law got me one and then my coworker got me one 
we have one upstairs one downstairs and i'm not gonna lie it actually works it helps soothe her and not cry so much with, with a cold wipe so i think it's a necessity and no i think using a regular wipe is just fine especially because we're on the go i mean we've only been on the go a couple times to go to the doctor's office <laughs> but when we take her out to the doctor's office and we use a wet wipe she's totally fine so but it is nice to have and then right over here is all her bows this is not all her bows but this is just some of them i displayed here as you can see she has a lot of bows and this i got gifted from a client it's a little bow stand it's so cute but i have some extra bows there on the top because it doesn't fit but i thought that was really cute to display with everything else we got the mirror a little up close shot there we go hey and then right over here we have a floating shelf these i got from amazon i can try to link it down below if i remember if not just remind me this sun is actually from timu <laughs> it was like 15 bucks it's pretty small but it kind of flows with this little corner here you do have to plug it into a usb so i do have a usb back there plugged in and then we have a little stuffed animal this is luke and stormy up there one of our friends recently got married and they had their friends dogs painted on like the center pieces of the tables so thought it was such a cute and different idea so we ended up taking them home and now they're here in riley's room so cute this i got from marshall's and then up there my mom my mother-in-law gifted me that and then my mother-in-law also gifted me this too you are my sunshine because i don't know if you could tell the theme of her room is pops of sun and then right over here is her little play area also that's her diaper trash can that thing's amazing her poop doesn't really smell that much yet but so far so good that is her little walker which we're not using yet until she starts kind of walking i guess and then here is her little play mat area we've already used this a couple times we don't have a routine yet because she's about to be two weeks but i try in the morning to lay her down on her back and just kind of look at the contrasty toys for a little play time and then right over here is my little rocking chair area. I use this mostly at nighttime because in the middle of the night, this is where I come and feed her, change her. Um, right here is our humidifier, no, purifier. And also is a like sound machine. I turned it off because it sounds pretty loud. It also has a nightlight, which I like. But yeah, I turned it off for the video. And then that little plant is from Target. This side table is from Target. It is very high quality and it was only 100 bucks. I will try to link it as well. It's very good quality. And it already came built. So we did not have to build this, which is pretty nice. And then this rocker is from... It's not even a rocker. Is it a rocker? This chair is from Amazon. The pillow my mother-in-law gifted me. And the plant is from Amazon. And then right over here is a basket full of all her little toys. I've already used this for her, her little contrasty toys for newborns. And all her little rattles. But I love this area so much. This is where I spend most of my time with her in the room so far. And then right over here is her crib. This, obsessed, this is her name, Riley Sol. Sol is her middle name. That means sun in Spanish. Um, that is her name and I'm obsessed with it. This crib is from Target, I believe. It's a Delta 4-in-1 crib. It was pretty affordable. I think it was like 200 bucks to something. I think no more than 200 bucks. And then the mattress is the Newton mattress, which was pretty expensive. I think it was like 200 bucks. But it is a Breathe Technology mattress, so it is worth the money. So in case they flip over on their face, they can still be able to breathe and not suffocate which is a must um and then right over here we have all her little furry friends obviously once she starts sleeping in here we're not gonna have all these stuffed animals in here but for now we're just storing them right there this blanket my aunt made for me she made it by hand so it's very special this blanket my mother-in-law got me it says little ray of sunshine super cute this is also her little easter outfit that i have already washed and laid out for her for tomorrow tomorrow is easter can't wait to see her in this little outfit and then i'm sure you guys are going to ask questions about this thing here this is amazing i got this from etsy from a australian seller and i can link it down below as well i think i think it was like 150 or like no more than 200 dollars for the decal sticker and then the sign i just looked up name sign on amazon and just got like a random seller 
and we kept it like this wood finish. I ended up not painting it or doing anything different. I kind of like the wood feel with the sun. So that is her little crib. The only thing we're missing is the Nanit Pro camera stand, which we're going to hook up today, hopefully. I haven't really hooked it up because she is sleeping in the bassinet next to me. So I really don't need the camera just yet, but we're going to hook it up just in case. And then right over here is her little bouncer. We have not used the bouncer yet, which I'm tempted on trying this week. Just because she's so tiny, she was due three weeks early, so she's only like 5.10 pounds right now. She's super tiny, so I don't think she's really going to fit in there yet, but I'll try maybe this week. So yeah, just missing the camera, and that is what everything's looking like. The rug is from Amazon as well. I can link it. I didn't want anything too big or crazy, and it feels so soft and buttery. This is the overview, and then we're moving on to her closet area. And again, these are the bookshelves, hanging some of her books. The shelves I got from Amazon in a pack of three. They were not expensive, I think they were like 20 bucks. And these are all her books. We don't have a routine yet because she is still like so new, and she just sleeps 24, <laughs> and she just sleeps the majority of the time. But I have read her a couple of books so far. I've read her if I were a unicorn, and I've read her Good Morning, Buenos Dias, and If I Were a Bunny, but so far, she's loving it. <laughs> so this is her closet. Boom. Yes, this girl is definitely spoiled. So, so spoiled. Oh, I need to show you guys the dressers inside, like all the com all the compartments. This is like the main thing, I feel like. So starting over here, we have all her diapers, wipes, these are the little changing pad, disposable things. And then I highly recommend if you're having a baby shower, have your friends and family like write a little funny something on the diapers. So it makes late night changings a lot funnier. It could be funny or like sentimental. Favorite great aunt Trudy. <laughs> oh no, Riley, are you serious? So I thought that was really cool and funny, cute idea. I did laminate some of her stuff because that way if Ryan or my mother-in-law or my mom comes over and watches her, everything is nice and organized. So here I have some sanitizing wipes. These are for babies. It's baby safe. So that way I can wipe down the kinkaroo changing pad and like everything else. I have some extra large bibs back there or cloth bibs. No, these are burp cloths. Here I have her bibs, her socks and mittens. Right in here, we have burp cloths. This is some medicine, another spatula, and some pacifiers, and these little clips for the pacifiers. Right in here is bath towels and some other miscellaneous stuff. Oh, I also have like a thermo thermometer. And then right down here, let me get rid of this. Right down here is all of her clothes. So we have newborn onesies. I have newborn sleepers, zero to three month sleepers, zero to three month onesies. So mostly we are using this here, Just a little bit of this, but mostly this little row here, her newborn sleepers. She's still so tiny. She barely fits in her newborn, which is crazy. And then these are her little onesies and little pants that goes with it for the daytime. But yeah, <laughs> that is, but yeah, that's mostly what she's wearing these days. And then in this drawer, we have her Velcro swaddles, swaddle blankets, sleep sacks, slash clothes, and then her zero to three month clothes, extra clothes. She loves the Velcro swaddles for nighttime. And then during the day, we swaddle her with just like a regular blanket. We have not used a sleep sack yet, which I just bought one. It should be coming in pretty soon. That will fit her a little bit better. But these are just a little bit too big for her right now at the moment. And then yeah, just like a little extra clothes. Down here we have two baby carriers and then extra blankets and then also some important documents from her. And then down here is, this is extra bassinet sheets and then an extra blanket. We also have her little changing pad here, portable changing pad for on the go. But we're really not on the go right now so we don't, we're really not on the go right now so we don't need that just yet. Now moving back to the closet, this is like an overview of everything she has Diapers for days. I mean, it's all stacked up. Diapers, diapers, and a bunch of wipes down there. So we're very blessed to have all of this. She's stocked up for sure. <laughs> and then this is all her clothes over there. It's just like extra hangers, but 
This is all of her clothes, you know. So I bought these dividers from Amazon. As you can see, it says zero to three months. Keeps everything nice and organized. Here I have her little robe. It is so, so cute. She's still so tiny to wear this. And then I just have a couple of newborn outfits, like nice little outfits. I wanna put her in this pretty soon. It's so cute. And then we also have this cute little romper. I actually just bought her these two outfits because I realized she's still so tiny and she's gonna be wearing newborn outfits for a minute. So I just got her a couple nice outfits for when visitors come. And then from here down is zero to three months. I already have it all washed and ready to go. And then from down there is like older clothes. Those I don't have washed yet. I'm gonna wait until she hits three months and I'm gonna wash them and then change them, swap them, whatever. And then right over here is a little cube organizer. This is just extra baby stuff we have that we don't need to open yet. Just like Frida baby bath stuff. Just like miscellaneous stuff. And then here is her little sunnies, some slippers. This is a little bit of a mess just because I got gifted a couple more things recently. So I need to organize this. But technically down here is all her extra bows. Guys, she has so many bows. It's crazy. I need to reorganize this. And then here we have extra books. I have a little candle there. And then down here is just extra little toys, stuffed animals. Here, just extra miscellaneous stuff. Extra miscellaneous stuff. This, I'm obsessed with. Shout out to my mom. She gifted me this for, I think, the baby shower. We want to take her to Colorado next year, so I cannot wait to see her in this. Luke and Stormy. So cute. And just like, yeah, extra clips and stuff. She's bald right now, so not sure when we're going to be able to use this. <laughs> she has a little bit of hair, but it's pretty much bald. Miscellaneous stuff, shoes. Um, two swaddle blankets from the hospital. Didn't want to throw them away yet. And then this is extra clothes that I need to wash. And this is three months and up, so. And then back here in this corner, it's just extra stuff we don't need right now. An extra waterproof mattress cover. Things we don't need to open, but this right here, this, this right here is superior. This is her baby carrier. I know we have two, I know we have two already, but I got gifted this and I'm so excited to put her in this. Like, I love the print. I cannot wait to see her in this. I'm just so obsessed with this room. My vision for her room came out perfectly. Especially this area here. I love it. I love her name there and love the sun. I literally love everything And also we're just again so lucky and blessed and grateful for everything we have got Gifted all of my clients that gifted me clothes diapers books literally anything for her or me Thank you so much And we are just very happy to have her here now in this world and not be pregnant anymore That was rough I feel so much better not being pregnant, but again, that's going to be a whole other video. Talk about that. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this nursery tour for my baby girl. Love this room so much. And if you did, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe down below to help your girl out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.